Hello everyone, today's topic is vitamin A. Vitamin A is a generic term for a group of lipid-soluble compounds related to retinol. Retinol is often referred to as preformed vitamin A. It is found only in animal sources, mainly as retinal esters and in food supplements. Many cultures have used ox liver as an excellent source of vitamin A to cure night blindness. Beta-carotene and other carotenoids that can be converted to vitamin A by an enzymatic process in the body are referred to as provitamin A. They are found only in plant sources. Retinol, the oxidized metabolite of retinol, is required for the process of vision. Retinoic acid, another vitamin A metabolite, is considered to be responsible for all non-visual functions of vitamin A. Retinoic acid combines with specific nuclear receptor proteins, which bind to DNA and regulate the expression of various genes, thereby influencing numerous physiological processes. Retinoic acid is therefore classified as a hormone. Vitamin A is critical for normal visual function, for a reproductive system, for growth and development, cellular differentiation, also vitamin A plays major role in immune function. Receptor cells in the retina of the eye contain a light sensitive pigment called rhodopsin, which is a complex of protein opsin and the vitamin A metabolite retinol. The light induced disintegration of the pigment triggers a cascade of events which generate an electrical signal to the optic nerve. Rhodopsin can only be regenerated from opsin and vitamin A. Rod cells with this pigment can detect very small amounts of light, making them important for night vision. Many different types of cells in the body perform highly specialized functions, the process whereby cells and tissues become programmed to carry out their special function is called differentiation. Through the regulation of gene expression, retinoic acid plays a major role in cellular differentiation. Vitamin A is necessary for normal differentiation of epithelial cells, the cells of all tissues lining the body, such as skin, mucous membranes, blood vessel walls, and the cornea. In vitamin A deficiency, cells lose their ability to differentiate properly. Retinoic acid plays an important role in reproduction and embryonic development, particularly in the development of the spinal cord and vertebrae, limbs, heart, eyes, and ears. Vitamin A is required for the normal functioning of the immune system and therefore helps to protect against infections in a number of ways. Vitamin A is essential in maintaining the integrity and function of the skin and mucosal cells, which function as a mechanical barrier and defend body against infection. Vitamin A also plays a central role in the development and differentiation of white blood cells, such as lymphocytes, killer cells, phagocytes, which play a critical role in the defense of the body against pathogens. The richest food source of preformed vitamin A is liver, with considerable amounts also found in egg yolks, whole milk, butter, and cheese. Provitamin A carotenoids are found in carrots, yellow and dark green leafy vegetables, pumpkins, apricots, and melon. Vitamin A is absorbed in the upper part of the small intestine. Provitamin A carotenoids can be cleaved into retinol via an enzymatic process. Preformed vitamin A occurs as retinal esters of fatty acids. They are hydrolyzed and retinol is absorbed into intestinal mucosal cells. After re-esterification, it is incorporated into chylomicrons, excreted into lymphatic channels, delivered to the blood and transported to the liver. Vitamin A is stored in the liver as retinal esters. Stores are enough for one to two years in most adults living in industrialized countries. Vitamin A is sensitive to oxidation by air. Loss of activity is accelerated by heat and exposure to light. Oxidation of fats and oils can destroy fat-soluble vitamins, including vitamin A. Vitamin E protects vitamin A from being oxidized. Hence, adequate vitamin E status protects vitamin A status. Disease and infection compromise vitamin A status, and conversely, poor vitamin A status decreases resistance to diseases. 
Chronic heavy alcohol intake can impair liver storage of vitamin A. Acute protein deficiency interferes with vitamin A metabolism. Similarly, too little fat in the diet interferes with the absorption of both vitamin A and carotenoids. Vitamin A deficiency may result in impaired iron absorption and decrease its utilization for erythropoiesis, thereby potentially exacerbating iron deficiency anemia. Zinc deficiency may adversely affect mobilization of vitamin A from hepatic stores and absorption of vitamin A from the gut. Vitamin A deficiency is rare in Western world, but in developing countries it is one of the most widespread. The earliest symptom of vitamin A deficiency is impaired dark adaptation or night blindness. Severe deficiency causes a condition called xeropthalmia characterized by changes in the cells of the cornea that ultimately result in corneal ulcers, scarring and blindness. The appearance of skin lesions, follicular hyperkeratosis is also an early indicator of inadequate vitamin A status. Gross retardation is a common sign in children. Because vitamin A is required for the normal functioning of the immune system, even children who are only mildly deficient in vitamin A have a higher incidence of respiratory disease and diarrhea. Some diseases may themselves induce vitamin A deficiency, most notably liver and gastrointestinal diseases, which interfere with the absorption and utilization of vitamin A. Vitamin A deficiency during pregnancy leads to malformations during fetal development. Studies have shown that vitamin A supplementation given to children aged over 6 months reduces all cause mortality by between 23 to 30% in low income countries. The beneficial effect is assumed to do to the uh, prevention of vitamin A deficiency. In developing countries where vitamin A deficiency is one of the most serious health problems, children under the age of 6 years and pregnant and lactating women are the main vulnerable groups. A single dose of 200,000 international units given to mothers immediately after delivery of their child has been found to increase the vitamin A content of breast milk. However, Caution is necessary when considering vitamin A therapy for lactating women, otherwise coexisting pregnancy may be endangered. During pregnancy, a daily dose of 10,000 international units of vitamin A should not be exceeded. Natural and synthetic vitamin A analogs have been used to treat psoriasis and severe acne. The recommended daily intake of vitamin A varies according to age, sex, risk group and other criteria applied to individual countries. In the USA, the um, recommended daily allowance for adult men is 900 micrograms and for adult women uh, are, it is 700 micrograms per day. During lactation, an additional 500 to 600 micrograms per day are recommended. Infants and children, due to their smaller body size, have a lower recommended daily allowance than adults. Because vitamin A, as retinal ester, is stored in the liver, large amounts taken over a period of time can eventually exceed the liver storage capacity, spill into the blood and produce adverse effects like liver damage, bone abnormalities and joint pain, alopecia, headaches, vomiting and skin disquamation. Normal fetal development requires uh, sufficient vitamin A intake, but consumption of excess retinol during pregnancy is known to cause malformations in the newborn. Current levels of vitamin A in fortified foods are based on RDA levels, ensuring that there is no realistic possibility of vitamin A overdosage in the general population. In the vast majority of cases, signs and symptoms of toxicity are reversible upon cessation of vitamin A intake. Beta-carotene is considered a safe form of vitamin A because it is converted by the body only as needed. Vitamin A is available in soft gelatin capsules 
as chewable or effervescent tablets or in ampoules. It is also including in the most multivitamins. Retinyl acetate, retinyl palmitate and retinol are the forms of the vitamin A most commonly used in supplements. That was it for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.